Hi, welcome back everybody. This is Dollar. Here's a sneak peek of the finished product. I decided rather than doing one long video, it's probably going to be like an hour, hour and a half, I was going to break it into parts. So here's part two. Thanks a lot. I went to trial fit the AIO cooler and the way I had those mounted was this way. And this will not fit. I need to go this way for it to fit. Because otherwise, these piping pipes or tubes will hit the ram when I'm mounted the other way. So these just slide off. They rotate either, easy any way you want them. And so I'm going to go ahead and remount this on here like that. So just want to let you know I rotated those clips at 90 degrees. Okay, now that I know how I'm going to install the radiator, I'm going to go ahead and install the fans. There's three sets of fans that come with the system. They're white framed. They're black inside. Like I said, they are not LG RGB. You can swap these out with RGB if you want. Actually, I'm going to kind of go with the look. I kind of like the look with the black fans there. And um, I'm going to do the RGB on the sides and the bottom. But leaving these on the radiator because you're really not going to see the top uh, from uh, a normal standing position. But we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to go ahead and install these onto the radiator. I'm going to mount these fans with the wires toward the, the bottom and they're going to be blowing outwards. So sucking air and blowing it out of the case. There are little arrows on the side here to show the direction of flow. And there's some long screws in there. Just put them in there and align them with those on the radiator. I'm going to set the radiator in place and align the screws on this side and put those screws in. Put all the screws in. Don't know if we need 12 of them. Back a few of the screws in. I'm going to go ahead and center it before I tighten them up so that it's even on both sides. Then I'll go ahead and install the rest of the screws. I'm going to go ahead and install the AIU pump onto the CPU. Uh, first, I'm going to put some Arctic MX4. A thermal compound on the CPU. I'm going to go ahead and place the AIO.
The three fans on the radiator have a fan control. So I'm actually going to slip them through this sleeve here. It's more cable management so that everything will be connected in the back. To make cable management a little bit easier to get everything connected and organized, I'm going to go ahead and remove this panel here. These are actually panels that can hold SSD drives, three additional ones, as well as here, but these will probably be coming out for the additional fans in the back. I can put some back here right on the opposite side. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out to um, get the cables pulled through from the motherboard. And there's four screws here and two down here, or two up here and two down here. Once you get those two bottom screws and these two screws out, it just leans forward and that panel comes right out. So the Captain 360X comes with a fan controller. So we're going to plug the fans in here to this, all three of them. Because we connected these in the back of the computer underneath the motherboard, we routed all the fan cables out and we're going to have one going back to the motherboard. Note there's double-sided tape on the back of the controller so you can attach it somewhere if you want to just to secure it. So now I'm going to route the single cable back to the motherboard. On this motherboard, the CPU fan is this first one. That's where we're going to plug this in. This is an optional fan connector, and this is the AIO pump. So we're going to plug in the fan here. Like that. The Captain 360X also comes with a RGB speed controller and color controller that I'm going to try not to use. I'm going to try to connect it to the motherboard directly, so it also provides a an extension for the motherboard connection, if needed. I don't think I'm going to need it because there's a, it's quite long actually. The instructions for the AIO pump says to connect it to the other fan connector, but this motherboard actually has an AIO connector that's right there. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in there. It's a three pin connector. So just slide on like that. So that's another fan header connector if needed. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck this excess wire back through that grommet back there so we don't have wires all over the place. The pumped RG header, this is the extension cord that came with the Captain 360X. And it goes on just like that, and then we'll just plug the extensions together here.